Are you ready? Come here. Yeah. Come on. Happy New Year. Yay. Happy New Year. It's a new year. 2017. New year. I'm feeling very good about 2017. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling very positive. There will be no negative talk in this house or I will kick you out. I will kick Dad out. <laughs> I will kick the dog out. I will kick Ella out. There will be no... Sorry, not Ella. There will be no negativity. Because I feel really good about 2017. But Donald Trump is president. <laughs> Who are you kicking me out Who are you trying to feel good if the president of the United States is Donald Trump? There she goes. Don't try to ruin my mood. I will not. I'm sorry. Because my positive attitude cannot be destroyed. It will not be destroyed. Wow. All right. So there you have it, people. It's uh, 2017 and we're vlogging because John said that me and my mom are hilarious. So he probably just meant my mom. And we're gonna we're gonna do this again. We're gonna give this a try again for the fiftieth time in my vlogging career since probably I was fourteen years old. We're freaking doing it. New year, new me. Big changes. Big big things. Big dreams. Right, mom? That's right. Big dreams. Hey. Big dreams. Myself from the other room. Why are you listening to me while I'm in the house? Oh, we're stuck in the mud with my car. But you know what? That's also a metaphor for. It's a metaphor for. <laughs> I shouldn't have a camera. That's not what the metaphor is for. The metaphor is for um, 2016 because this. Oh! See, I tried. All right, I'm going to ditch that whole metaphor thing that I was trying to do. But anyway, it's a new year, but it's not a new me. There are going to be a lot of fun things happening in 2017. I'm really stoked about it. Um, one huge announcement is that I am going to be moving to Nashville, which is crazy because I would have never thought that I would want to end up in Nashville. I tried LA. I was there for like 15 days last February on tour. Um, it just was not the place for me. It was a lovely place to visit. A lot of my friends are out there, some of my family, um, but I just cannot live there unless I am a trillionaire so I would be able to like pull myself out of you know actual LA and live up on a hill surrounded by trees where no one can find me and or see me or talk to me um, so I hated it Nashville I literally was there for a week and that is where I know I want to be forever who knows maybe not forever who's to say but like that is my place. Those people are so nice. Unlike up north on the east coast. It's just not, you know, it's not my kind of peeps. I'm like meant to be down in Nashville where everybody's just like pip pip, you know? Skilly beep boop bop. You know what I'm saying? They're just skilly boop bop and I need to get used to vlogging again because this is weird. I feel like I don't know. I'm, I'm basically doing this because I want to document the road to moving to Nashville and not just the road because it's going to be a 14 hour drive. Uh, you know, I'm going to document the metaphorical road as well. It's going to be sick. So stay tuned for all of the things. We're going to do covers, originals, one original every month. I'm holding myself to it. I'm saying it now, but I like said I was holding myself to vlogging five years ago. So, I 
been doing this a while and I'm only 19. And one thing that I've never done is upload vlogs directly to my main channel. I always had like a separate channel if I wanted to do any kind of like personal videos or anything like that. But I'm just going to make it all one channel. Put these up here with my music so everybody can, you know, know me as a person and I can like connect with more people that way. So if anybody is here, you know, because they listen to my music and stuff, comment below and let me know what kind of things you want to see in vlog form. You know? They had the vlog done. I vlogged. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't know how to vlog, so you have to call John all the way out in LA and then call Walmart to try to figure out how to how to do it. <laughs> really not that serious. It means I'm not doing the program. This stupid camera. I hate this camera. It's not compatible with Mac. No, feed our GoPros. What does that mean? You just have to convert the file. Convert? I will not convert for anyone. <laughs> what is this program trying to get me to do? It converts the file. What do you mean? My mom always gets really mad at me when I say things like I hate my life, but it's really times like these when little technical things don't work that make me hate my life. I found a song called Girl by Jukebox the Ghost, and it's a banger. Check it out. But you never really tried. Open your heart. Open your mind. This would look so nice in my apartment. Oh. Forever younger, growing older, just the same. All right, so I guess that's where I'm gonna end this vlog. I know it was super weird. It's my first week. I'm just kind of trying to get back into it. But before I end it, I don't want to get hate for any of the things that I'm about to say. But I would like to have a discussion in the comments. I'm really curious uh, what everyone's thoughts are on. Um, Ed Sheeran's two new singles that came out that are going to be on his album. As a huge Ed Sheeran fan since I was 14 years old, you can go way back on my channel and find little wee baby Kaylin singing the A-Team on my little plastic guitar. <sighs> this man is like a big factor and why I want to write music and why I sing. And I, to say I am disappointed in these two singles that he just released is an understatement. I actually am so beyond distraught and devastated over how they came out. Castle on the Hill, I heard him do it acoustically, which I thought it was a good song in pure Ed fashion. But it sounded, the production sounded like manufactured radio garbage, which, so I'm happy for him and I want him to be played on the radio. I thought Think It Out Loud was awesome, Photograph was awesome, great radio singles. Um, even Don't was a smash. This one just sounds like a throwaway garbage song. I feel like Shape of You would have been a catchy song if it were anyone else. And which I heard Ed Sheeran say in an interview was that he originally wrote it for Rihanna. Um, and that would have been fine and dandy. But for some reason when it was coming from him, I just felt so abused. It just sounded so... I don't even know how to put this into words. I'm really looking forward to the album because I'm hoping to God that there is some good writing, real emotion, Ed in there somewhere, but I was really, really disappointed in the singles. I'm very upset. And this is coming from a fan, you know? I am not trying to hate in the least. I want to see Ed succeed. I want him to have the fame, but I feel like since he is so famous now, he has to appeal to the masses, and that's what he's doing. And I would love to hear everybody's thoughts. Do you like the songs? Maybe I am just being way 
over dramatic because I love him so much. But, you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And thank you for watching this week's vlog. And I'll see you next week. Without me noticing, without me noticing. Because I know what I know. And what I know is that this has taken over me. And I cannot find who to be. Go. I'm the tires who lost in the flow I'm washed up, broken bone From all the things happening inside of me